What's up guys, this is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a rat rod truck for under $1,000. And in this video, we get the battery mounted, we get the grill in, we get our front clip mounted, and we also take it for a spin. Let's get going. So, Got the front end dropped about a half an inch. Made all of this more level now. When I sat in it the other day, I just realized the hood, I could see the hood. You're not really supposed to see the hood. It's supposed to be tilted down. And now you can see it actually has a little bit of a downslope, which is nice because that's kind of the only reason I didn't start making any of this really solid. It has mounts on it, but it's not super solid. So now what I can do, I threw the hood on just to double check my, you know, everything was still cool. So what I'm gonna do now is pop the hood off and I'm gonna go in here and start bracing up that cowl real well. And then also welding in these front braces again. I just, I just cut them loose, narrowed them, took about a half inch off of them, dropped it down, and then I can just weld those back. So that's nice. I'm also going to go ahead and finally mount the rear fenders. They're still just kind of sitting on there. As you can see, they're not bolted or anything. So I probably every single time, I swear to God, every single time. Every single time I'm talking, that kicks on. I'm gonna probably go ahead and just tack weld these on because I don't see any reason why I would ever need to take them off. And also every single bolt on there is rusty or gone. So I would need to drill them all out and put new bolts in and it's kind of a bitch. You need two people to help you bolt it and unbolt. I think I'm just gonna throw a couple tack welds on and it'll be fine for now. And I also need to make some braces for it because it's just kind of floppy, you know. Let's do all of that. Brackets made on the front end. Everything is stout, not going anywhere. Got the fenders mounted. I actually didn't end up welding them. Uh, I just put some self tappers in it for now, which actually held it a lot better than I thought it would because they're real tiny. They're not, they're nothing like the big bolts it used to have on it, but I think that's gonna work for now. I'll probably still end up welding it, but for now, um, I kind of like being able to take it off and adjust it if I have to. Everything is centered and everything looks good. I shouldn't have to, but just in case, I'm just gonna leave those in there for now. I think what I'm gonna do next, still have a bunch of bracing to do on this cowl, but I think what I'm gonna do next is go down to my other shop and get the pieces cut so I can start filling that cowl in a little bit. So, I need to take some measurements. I think it's seven and a half inches or seven inches, something like that, but I need to get some sheets made for that. Yeah, it's about seven, so probably, oh, a nine or 10 inch sheet. And then I'll bring it in here and I'll have to weld it every time, every fucking time. <laughs> All right, let's go. What the fuck? I got the door actually fitting pretty well. It took kind of some ratchet straps and a jack and my dad was helping me. But as you can tell, I got a decent gap around it. Top is still a little high, but I can adjust that. What I'm running into right now though, is since the cab corners aren't solid, uh, whenever I let go of it, I got the monkey on the stick holding it in place right now. As soon as I let go of that, it just opens back up and I have a, I have like a one inch gap or a half inch gap. So I need to make my corners solid. That's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna put some little brackets from in there into the frame or in there to the actual Vic floor so nothing can spring this way or this way. All right, moment of truth. I got some bracing to do on the inside. But, <laughs> we got an opening and closing door, baby. Awesome. And that, it'll, get even, it'll get even better when I brace it from the inside in here. That's great. Fuck yeah. Shit like that is awesome whenever you're doing a chassis swap. Because if you've watched any of these videos, you know, this is essentially a roof and doors. So there's nothing on the inside of it because I cut all that to go over the link and stuff. So getting your doors to actually open and close is huge. I've, I've had to do these before where you literally spend a week trying to get the doors to open and close just because everything just kind of, you know, it's just loose, nothing is mounted. Sometimes you make a mount that actually puts it in a bind, you have to unbind it, it's a mess. So, that's huge. Woo, let's go. So, I was looking at the tailgate chains there's normally a chain that goes down here and it's actually a latch as well. It latches this shut. 
They are like $100. Here's a picture of one. Richard, put the fucking picture in my hand. <laughs> There's a picture of one right there. It's 100 bucks. This isn't really going to work. That isn't really going to work for me on a project that I'm trying to keep on a tight budget. 100 bucks here and there I just can't afford right now. I still have to buy glass and stuff. So even though I'm only around, I think, 380 on the budget, I just I can't waste 100 bucks on it. So what we're going to do instead, I got some gate locks or whatever these are called. I think these are $2. I got two of them, so it's 4 bucks. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the mount off here. This will kind of clean it up too, it won't have this. And I'm just gonna put these on the inside and that's what we're gonna run with on this. If I feel like I need chains, I mean, I might still add chains later so that the tailgate doesn't drop all the way down. But for now, I think this is gonna be just fine. That's what we're gonna go with. So let's mount these real quick. I do admit I kind of love the fact that there are no chains. It kind of looks a little bit cleaner. So anyways, we got these on here. Oh, that's still hot, you fucking idiot. Ow. Um, before I was interrupted, what we gotta do now is figure out exactly where, focus bitch, figure out exactly where our hole is gonna be. Uh, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Let's see. Ow. Okay, so. Double check it. Perfect. Perfect. That's also hot. Ow, I'm an idiot. Mm. Breaking stuff. Okay. Now we gotta drill those. Okay, it is time to start putting the front end on the grill, the bumper. It's actually not a bumper, it's a lower valence, valence, however you say that. But these are extremely rough. These are in horrible shape. They're real bad. I originally got these with the other 54 we're doing. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a show car. It's everything's gonna be perfect on it. Lots of chrome, beautiful paint. These are just shot. These are in horrible shape. So they're not gonna work for it. So I'm gonna use it on this. Uh, I'm gonna figure out a price on what they're worth because I'm not doing any of that. It was laying around, so it's free part of the build. I'm not doing that, we'll figure it out. I mean, since they're so bad, they're probably only worth like a hundred bucks, but I'll end up figuring that in. What I wanna do, even though this is a rat rod, I still want it to be kind of nice. I, I mean, rat rod doesn't have to mean shitty, so I don't want that. But the, since they're beat all to hell, I'm gonna probably spend a little bit of time hammering and dolly and some of this shit out, and then we'll get them mounted. So let's do that. So we got these welded. It really sucked. That's rusted, that's rusted. It's real thin, took forever. But I got it fully welded, everything's cool. I ended up putting the, I had to cut it up a little bit, but I ended up putting the, I um, can't remember what it's called, radiator space or whatever. I ended up putting that in there. I wasn't gonna use it originally, but I didn't realize that the grill actually bolts to it. Bolts right there, so I need to put it there. I'll probably end up welding the grill in so that it's more sturdy and it doesn't bounce at all. It normally would have mounts, you know, over here off the frame. Obviously, we don't have that anymore since we're not using the original frame. But I think it'll still be nice for spacing that I have that there and it'll kind of make sure everything is level. Got all that in, which is nice. That bolted right in, which was great because that showed me none of my fenders have moved since I undid the tacks on the hood. So I know everything, the hood will still fit normal. So let's throw this grill in here real quick and see what she looks like. Never mind, we're gonna pause on that. I just realized whenever the grill is in, it's gonna be a bitch to get in here. 
here's where my battery is going to be. So I need to go ahead and make the battery brackets and stuff now while I have the access. Um, if I ever need to take the battery out, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I could get it out from the top. It's just a lot easier since I have to actually weld the brackets in to do it right now while I have the room. So let's do that. So you know on a lot of new cars, they'll hide their battery like in the fender well. You literally have to take the tire off to take the battery out. How dumb is that? That's, that's so stupid. I hate that. But anyways, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to hide it right there. <laughs> so let's do that. I got a ton of welding to do on it, but we got ourselves a battery box. Check it out, batteries in. I actually don't have to take the wheel off to get it in and out, which I like. And also I didn't have to come through the front. Originally I thought you'd have to take the grill off to get the battery out. You don't, it can just come out the top normal. Sweet, super happy about that. I wanna get this grill put on and uh, probably throw the hood on, see how she looks with her grill and front uh, valance on. So I'm having a hard time getting this grill level. It's hard to kind of measure where it's at because everything's rounded on both sides. So what I'll do in a case like this is I'll get two sockets of the exact same size. These happen to be five eighths and I'll just wedge them in there to where it's touching the tops of both. And then I know it's exactly even to these fenders because it's the exact same top. Two. Perfect. And I even have the socket in the same spot. So I know it's exactly level to the fenders, above the fenders, side to side. We're good. Now I'm gonna sink down all my bolts so nothing wiggles anymore. So I uh, lost all the footage of me starting on the metal work, I'm starting to fill the cowl in. I lost all that footage, which was just fucking cool. But I pretty much have all of the panels on the truck where they need to be and actually pretty solid. I still have a couple little mounts to make. But what I wanna do since I got the battery box done, I actually wanna hook the battery up. I gotta change a couple cables around. I wanna see, I wanna make sure everything still starts and runs. Technically should, cause I haven't cut anything since I put the body on, but things happen, you know, whatever. So let's hook this battery up and we'll uh, see if we can't take her for a spin. Okay, battery's in. Moment of truth. I gotta fix that heater. So I just took the truck for its first drive. I just went out in the parking lot and back, but uh, I got a bunch of stuff I need to adjust, but still pretty happy with where we're at currently. I went ahead and added everything up as of today. I have just a couple little more things that I've bought since whenever. I still have a bunch of stuff I need to sell like the dash, but currently total every penny spent 392.22. So we are in a running and driving 1954 Ford truck for 400 bucks currently but got a long ass way to go also i realized when it was outside it looked crooked now i do have a different tire on the front whenever i made all this i went off of the frame measurements not the tire measurements but that still bugs me i don't love the way that looks so i'm going to double check some stuff to make sure i'm i'm 99 sure it's just the fact that this is a smaller tire but if it's not it's going to piss me off and i'll have to change some stuff <sighs> But I think that's gonna that's gonna probably end it for this episode. This one has been long as shit, most likely. This isn't really a customer. <clears throat> Thank you guys very much for watching. As you can tell, we are moving along very quickly. Uh, I really only work on this at night, usually uh, after my kid goes to bed. Uh, this isn't a customer car. This is my own car. 
Uh, I work on customer cars during the day. So considering the fact I'm really only working on it at night, it's going a lot quicker than I thought it would. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good shit they tell you to do at the end of videos, and check out some more of my other videos. Peace. Sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same, what you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around.